Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it warm. <laughs> All right, let's show you what's going on. We start with this shot from 10,000 feet, and, well, it's quiet for now. And it's not going to stay quiet, though. A very interesting setup coming up over the next about four to five days. We're going to see a big-time change. But tonight, throughout the day tomorrow, clear skies, not much to worry about. But as we get into Thursday and Friday, you will start to see some changes out there that will show you that, well, we're definitely on the move with our weather pattern. 55 degrees in the Metro. Winds right now are calm across the northern half of the state. Temperatures anywhere from the 30s around Taos all the way up into the 50s and some 60s around Tucumcari. Colder in Alamosa, just 22 degrees. Down to the south, temperatures 40s, 50s, and 60s. This is the water vapor imagery. Why am I showing you this? Because you can see where the moisture is. The moisture is in the milky shaded areas and, of course, where you have all that cloud cover. Well, we don't have any here across New Mexico. Now, over the past, I'll say, four to five days, the whole western part of the nation has been very quiet for water vapor. Well, now you're starting to see that change starting to push some moisture into portions of California up into Oregon and Washington even up into Idaho but we still don't have much going on here tomorrow we're going to remain carved out underneath high pressure and not a lot in the way of cloud cover but that does start to change toward the weekend because moisture from the Pacific is going to head in our direction and it's going to change about everything we've been dealing with so look for another very nice day tomorrow temperatures very warm and in fact we're going to see temperatures peak out on Thursday but we are going to see a few more clouds on Thursday, but with a westerly flow of air, temps will continue to boost across the area through Thursday, and then we start to see the chance at picking up some rain and snow. This looks like sort of a two storm deal here. The first one comes through as we head in throughout the weekend. This is not a particularly powerful storm, and it's actually somewhat warm, but it also has some decent moisture to work with. So we will see the chance at mountain snows and some scattered valley rain showers, and then we'll see there's the possibility of a second system coming in by around Monday or Tuesday. This one will have more cold air with it. So if we get something out of this, it will more likely be snow. The question is, what kind of track does it take? What kind of moisture does it draw? And we're still not completely sure on all of that yet, but at least there's some potential that this thing has a little more punch to it, and we could be looking at at least a two-storm deal here where we could add to the snowpack finally for the first time in quite a while. And you can see that change in the Durango 7-day. Saturday into Sunday, we start getting a chance at some snow, and then Monday into Tuesday as well. Same deal across the northwest for tomorrow. Temperatures anywhere from the 40s all the way up into the low 60s, but a definite switch by the weekend. Across the southwest, temperatures here for the most part in the 60s for tomorrow. Thursday looks pretty good, and then Friday into Saturday, some scattered showers possible. Southeast, temperatures here in the 70s for tomorrow and on Thursday. In fact, we could be close to 80 in Roswell, or really, well, not Roswell, mid 70s in Roswell, but in Carlsbad. By Thursday, could see close to 80. Conscious, 69, 65 in Springer. Meanwhile, over the northern mountains, could get some snow on Saturday with the first system and then some more snow Monday into Tuesday with the second system. 50s around Sandia Park and Cedar Crest, 60 around Edgewood, and finally right here in the metro area. Temperatures topping out in the 20s to start, or bottoming out in the 20s, and then topping out in the high 50s. Extended forecast, we could hit 60 on Thursday, maybe a few showers on Saturday, and then that second system comes in at the beginning of next week. And the elk are still crossing the highway. They are sitting. <laughs> we'll let you know when it stops. We'll run across. The sports is next.